Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So recently, I've been really into the idea of thrift stores. Um, I think it's just so good for your finances, for the environment, and I know that a couple of videos have been popping up here and there on YouTube, but I wanted to put my own little spin on it. So this week I thought it would be cool if I found a look from a magazine and I would try to recreate it at the thrift store. So uh, let's see if I could pull it off. So I have a couple of magazines that I already own here. Now they're not from this month, but uh, they are from the past year. So I think it's uh, still pretty valid to be choosing some looks from these magazines. So these are a couple of my favorite magazines. I, we have InStyle here, Mary Claire, and we have Elle magazine. Uh, these are just a couple of them I, I enjoy reading for fashion and everything. So let's just go take a peek. So I thought since it's my first time that I would uh, pick out a couple of outfits to see, like to have a little bit more uh, leeway and to have choices. So already I have these, t th this one right here, or maybe this one, but I, I do enjoy the idea of this one. Uh, maybe I would change the shorts into something different, but I do like the idea of a blazer and a turtleneck and a really cute belt. So I will pick uh, this one as one of my options. I also really enjoyed this look right here from Carolina Herrera. Um, I really do love button-ups and I've been needing to get one of this color and uh, I think a skirt like this would be really nice. So I'm going to take this as an option as well. Bit more of a grungy vibe, but I am interested to see if they have something uh, bandeau-like. Maybe I could uh, DIY it of some sort if I find something pretty similar. But again, uh, with the turtleneck, uh, I really do enjoy, and a skirt. So these are one of my options as well. And last but not least, I really do love this houndstooth denim combo. As you can see, all my choices either have turtlenecks, skirts, or blazers. Uh, so these are my four options that I will try to, like I'll try to recreate one or maybe two depending because a lot of them have stuff in common like the turtleneck and uh, the blazers. So maybe I'll do either uh, checkered like this or houndstooth like this. But I really would like to have something of this sort. So uh, I'm pretty excited about these four choices and I hope I can find something similar. Now, thankfully, I live in Montreal, which have a lot of thrift store options. They have a lot of trendy thrift stores downtown. Uh, but for this time, I'm going to go bottom of the barrel and I'm going to go to Value Village, which is a bit like Goodwill in uh, for America. And I kind of feel like I like Value Village more just because they have good prices and they have a lot of options and uh, they have a lot of stuff. So I just like looking around, looking at the trinkets and everything. So hopefully they'll have a good selection and I can find something I like. So let's go. time doing this it had some ups and downs now when I came in for the first couple of seconds I immediately beelined to the sweaters because I knew that a black turtleneck would be pretty easy to find so uh, after about a minute I found the perfect turtleneck uh, it was slightly cropped it was ribbed just the right way that I wanted it to so for the first try I was pretty happy about it and I was feeling excited for the rest now the next thing I went towards was a skirt because I knew that the skirt was gonna be a little bit more difficult it was slightly pleated 
it was light gray it was not too short not too long so I knew it was going to be difficult finally I found something that was not gray but black and it wasn't pleated but it had like an overlay on it so it was sort of pleated so I said you know that was going to be good enough and then I attacked the blazers now there was a bunch of different types of blazers there was uh, a lot of houndstooth like like I wanted but it wasn't the right color or it wasn't the right size that that was something that was very difficult too is that if it's something I liked it wasn't really the right size and as you know blazers um, they got the shoulder pads and so shoulder pads were very difficult for me um, I got really excited when I saw a share blazer it was the perfect shade of yellow and black and white and it was it was a large so I figured it might be oversized it might look freaking awesome turns out uh, it was <laughs> the shoulder pads were too much and uh, I looked like I was in my dad's clothes and so I was really sad to part with the share blazer alas and every other blazer I would try on I just felt like a 90s mom <laughs> so uh, I was pretty disappointed in that also I wanted to find a really cute 90s Lizzie McGuire esque camisole and sadly I found a frumpy ballerina top that did not look good with the turtleneck so I was pretty I was feeling pretty defeated but as I came out of the dressing room I saw the beacon of hope and I saw the newsboy cap that I've been wanting for so long now I've been looking for a newsboy cap I've been in on the market for a newsboy cap because it is it is coming back in style and right now at the mall it is retailing from I think probably between 25 and 65 Canadian dollars this newsboy cap that was purple and was velvet was 249 or th you know three dollars so I was like, this is a sign, this is a beacon of hope, let's dive back in. And then I found the the blazer um, that probably could be Cher's best friend's blazer. What's her name again? I, I forgot. Anyways, I'll put a picture of her. Uh, I was like, this is probably Cher's best friend's blazer and it would be perfect with the only item that I actually wanted, which was the turtleneck. And I felt like it would complete one of the outfits except for the shorts because I mean um, it's not summer anymore so I don't feel the need to wear shorts at the moment but it would look good with a bunch of things so I ended up with the newsboy cap my purple newsboy cap which was in fact yes it was 249 I got my blazer checkered red and gray and black this was $9.99 and finally the turtleneck which was $4.99 from the outfit on the magazine the jacquard jacket was $2,195 and the sweater was seven hundred and sixty five dollars if I were to compare side by side from what I bought and what was on the magazine their ensemble ended up being two thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars I believe and my ensemble was around fifteen dollars so you can probably see the price difference and I just wanted to show everyone that you don't have to have a lot of money to find the pieces that you actually want and you can save the planet in doing so. So that's really what the basis of this video was.
All in all, I'm pretty happy with this experience and I would like to try it again. Maybe it could be something else other than the magazine. It could be uh, just something that you guys send me. I would really like that as well. But I'm pretty happy with what I got. And I will actually wear these pieces together and in separate occasions. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I thought it was really fun, so I might do uh, the same thing, but with po possibly other thrift stores. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!